Alright, boys and girls. Help me out. What we're going to do is do a little bit of maintenance and uh, show you how to adjust bindings if need be and customize it. Now, you'll need a few things. I like to have a wet sponge to clean off the dirt and the salt and the slush and then a drying rag. I got a few things here. I got a few different writing utensils to mark the bindings. Once you have your board set up and your boot sizes and it's already fitted, then you might want, you might come in across this uh, problem. And the problem is right here. Everything here looks good, it's lined up. You want to make sure there's no gaps back here and it's seated properly with the boot. Now, the problem is this is not safe. It should be nice and tight, but I have it all the way, you know, cranked all the way down. So, what we're going to do is right down here, we want to cut another hole out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to mark the bindings and by the way the rest of the tools I'm sorry we have linesmen's or pliers we got a pair of scissors it's going to be hard to cut so if you ever need some help kids make sure you ask mom and dad for some help or somebody to help and I have a hammer and either have flathead screwdriver or a regular screwdriver but I'm pretty sure we won't need the flat but or if you have power tools which is always fun okay so what we're going to do here is shorten this. We can't shorten this part, but we can shorten this part because of the holes. See if we can get down in there and look at that. Now I got the uh, iPhone on my helmet, so hopefully it catches the footage. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the boot out. Now I already took this binding off, but I wanted to show you guys. See here down here you want to mark where your bolts go so you can put it back if you like that stance okay mark where all the bolts go so I know I can line them back up okay this is a cheap and effective way to do your own board without taking it to the shop and have them charge you but some shops are fairly nice and they'll help you out you know so it doesn't help to ask but and make sure you do this when it's nice and warm. You don't want the plastic cold. And then right here, see if I can get the flashlight. You can see it has zero and then the degrees here. I have, I have the boys' bindings here between zero and 15. So, but there's an arrow here. So I'm going to line that up, mark that, and mark the corresponding disc. Maybe on the back side too. There's a mark here. I'm just going to mark on there. On here. So I'm going to do the plates. Okay, so I have all of them marked. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll take them apart. Like so. Alright. And then you'll put them aside. I did like over here. Make sure you put them in a nice safe place. Right here. Now, this is what we're going to look at here. I got this binding here, and we need to push, push down, and you'll expose. And it, it will not go push all the way through because of the way it's made. Some binding, like I said, some bindings are different. All right, now you have this little knob here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pliers, do a little finagling, see if I can do this. What you do is you grab it. You don't want to destroy it, but kind of twist it out. That one came out pretty easily. The other one over here was a little bit harder. So this is what you have. Yeah. You can see that. You'll need this. So you need to put that in a safe place. Okay. Now I'm just working on the coffee table while the missus is at work, and I put an old sheet on it to protect the table, you know, so I can work on this thing. So now, this can come completely out. So now you have this. So we know that the first hole, that's what it was set on, we'll have to cut. So, we might have to do a little bit of strength. A little bit of strength to cut this. But let's see if we can do this. Some 
plastic. Like I said, you don't want to do this when it's cold because the plastic will be colder and it'll want to snap. So do this when it's nice and warm. flying somewhere across the room and there you have it and you're going to put it back in the way you had it now they have these adjustments too they have the front hole on this side and they have one two three four little slots in there that you can put them in too okay you see now this this popped out how do i put it back i have it marked i don't have to worry about it so what we do is once we have that back in there, we're going to take that little piece, put that back on there. Move this aside a little bit. And what I'm going to do is just I'm just going to tap it in with a hammer. It's not quite lined up, so a little bit of an angle here. Part way through. So now it's half and half, and when you pull it through, it'll hold. Now let's put the boot in. And like I said before, I like to do some cleaning. And what you'll do is you'll wipe the board down, get all the crust that's underneath the bindings that might have been in there. You know, but make sure you do not wipe away your pencil marks. Okay. Put the boot back in. Like so, nice and snug. I'm going to check the back, make sure it's seated at the bottom. Seated in the back. By the way, the case that I'm using for my iPhone 5, see that? I just wanted to go one at a time, but knowing that it's still not tight enough, I'm going to cut another hole out. But I'd rather cut one at a time than try it, because you can't add back what you cut off. everywhere. Pull that back out. Pull this out. Let's see if I can get another piece flying across the room. See if I can cut this a lot better. Remember boys and girls, ask mom and dad if you can use the scissors. This is a little bit of a, a cut. back in there the right way I could put it in the farther slot back there and the farther slot will make it really short so now we're getting really close of working space Let's see if 
if I can try to start it with this first, get it started, get that part of it in there. Okay, so I, I was able to do it with this. This part underneath and that part on top. Just halfway. Now, all the way to the front is going to be loose. All the way to the back is going to be your uh, tightest. So, got the boot in again once it's in. And strap it to see if it is where we want it to be. Crank her down. So, that was a lot better. It's a little off center, so what I'm going to do is unloosen this. And I flipped it underneath, and I seen that it was on the third slot. I'm going to put it all the way to the back. So, what you do there is you just push so you can slide it up back and forth, and there's these four different teeth. So, I'm going to put this all the way to the back and then check it. It'll help. And there, I'm happy, okay? And once that's fitted, once you got it cut, then you're gonna go and do the reverse. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the boot out, put it down, grab your plate, you're gonna line it up with your pencil marks, which I did pencil marks on the deck and also with the with the bolt holes that you have here. Make sure I double check around and see where I'm at. My pencil marks. I believe I'm close there. Okay. Put one down. Do the first one loose because you got to be able to line up the other four. You always want to start them all because they'll move on you. And then once you get to that last third or fourth one, it's not lined up with any of the threads of the other ones, and you're going to be like, "Oh, now I got to loosen it up." So line them all up with the pencil marks, and once you're tightening, also you want to make sure that you get it where you need it to be. my time pencil marks yeah. this one started here okay everything falls into place all right kids now I'm gonna use the hand screwdriver because I don't like to over torque it with with the drill, you don't want to overstrip it. If it's stripped, you know, you want to go by feel here. Okay. Get that nice and snug. Hopefully, the footage on this, I can't see on top of my helmet. I'm, I'm wearing a snowboard helmet in the middle of the living room for your viewing pleasure okay so crank it down okay and then you just do that with the rest of your bindings just double check and make sure everything is tightened and screwed no loose parts when you go out there nothing comes apart you know even this back here you want to double check you know, everything is snapped and secure. Everything moves uh, freely. Okay. Alright. And then we just double check and make sure. Now another thing, another tip I like to do is because you know you have that dreaded, you love the graphics on your board, 
and you like looking at it when you're riding, when you look down, and it just looks so pretty. I mean, some people buy graphics, and some people just really don't care. But a nice thing, too, is you, you've got to put it back in your car or on your rack or whatever it is. There's snow that just builds up on it. So what I do is I just get some rain -X. Take some rain -X and treat the top a little bit. All right? Now, I, I've been using this, um, I don't know, on five different decks I've had for the past 20 years. And I never had any problem with if, if If in doubt, just try a little spot, you know. Don't take my word for it, but I'm just saying that this rain -X will help reduce the stick of the snow to the top of your deck so you can enjoy that, that look. And then also when you're standing in line at the lifts and stuff, don't be all crowded. Don't bump into people. Then it's going to get all scratched up on your noses and edges. And don't let the skiers poke the top of your board with their poles. And try not to be banging that stuff because once it starts chipping, it'll start to delaminate and peel back. And now you're forking over more money to buy another deck. And the resale value of your board will not go that far. So, all right. And that's a little bit of tips on snowboarding maintenance. I will do the rest of this stuff. You don't need to watch me do the rest of these. So uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching.